From the Visa Spotlight Studio at the Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary. 65 years ago, a Norwegian explorer sailed a balsa wood raft across the Pacific to prove a theory of migration. That feat is now a feature film, and we're very pleased to have with us in the Red Carpet Diary studio one of the stars of the film, Paul Hagen, and one of the directors, Espen Sandberg. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So my first question is, is everybody in Norway tall, blonde, and handsome? Or was it just the guys on the raft? <laughs> you have to answer that one. Because <laughs> you're the tallest <laughs> and the handsome, most handsome. <laughs> this is going the wrong way. Um, well, I, I think that we are tall, at least, uh, and, uh, and rep representative in that way. Thor Herdal was a man who wa who wanted challenges and sought out challenges. That's one of the underlying themes of the, the film. You're playing a national icon. How do you how do you prepare for that? Uh, that's a good question. It's um, it's um, it's a strange assignment. It's um, the good thing for us is, of course, that. Um, Thor Heyerdahl being this legendary Norwegian, um, people remember him mostly as an old man, and our story, of course, uh, takes place in 1947, and he is only 30. Um, so, and and a lot of people don't remember Thor from this time, naturally, and uh, and that gave me and us some freedom. I will prove that the oceans were not the barriers, but roads, not impediments, but pathways that South American people sailed to Polynesia 1,500 years ago. Was the flawed nature of his life something you knew about before you started digging into the project? Were you aware of some of the conflicts in his life? And his He's not being accepted as a scientist, actually. Uh, he's being accepted as an uh, experimental archaeologist, I would say. Uh, he definitely had his 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 professional fights were the meanest I think with the Norwegians actually, but uh, on on a personal level he's he's he was not uh, he did not talk about that in the media. Uh, uh, what has the reaction been in Norway to the film? It's been absolutely amazing. Uh, in two weeks now, ten percent of the Norwegian population has seen the movie, so it's this is it's going very very this well. This is becoming a habit with you <laughs> and, and, yeah. and your films. But yeah. Max yeah. Manus was seen by, I think, more people than saw Gone with the Wind. Yeah, 25th percent of the population. So yeah. we'll see how yeah, this ends up. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a terrific achievement, both from a directing standpoint and from an acting standpoint. You really do recreate one of the 20th century's uh, great, uh, great figures. And we're very pleased you came here to talk to us about it today. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank In you. the Visa Spotlight studio, we've been speaking with Paul Hagen, the star of Contiki, and one of the uh, dual directing team, Espen Sandberg.